Masa. Yes. So tired. Good morning, Dut. Ohio. Ohio guys. Today is today is the day. It's the day that we've been working for for five years, Masa. We'll explain in just a bit. We got a tuna roll. Nice. Come by. Don't you think we're living a dream right now? Eating like a cop, like drinking coffee in the early in the morning, or, or tea, staring at cars, and you know, just living in it. I think so. Before we get into it, let me let me give you guys a little backstory here. Five years ago, I set out on a mission to buy an R34 GTR. And when I was here in Japan traveling, Midori Seibi was the first GTR shop that I ever traveled to. And really, it just changed my perspective and, and really inspired me to achieve that goal of buying the R34. Five years ago, I told myself, if I ever bought an R34 GTR in Japan, this is where I would get it built. And today is that day. I'm saying it now. When I get an R34, this is the shop. This is the shop it's coming to. I know you guys have kept up with me along the way, taking it here. We've done suspension, we've done maintenance, done an exhaust, we've done tons of awesome stuff here at Midori Savi. But today is, is the culmination of everything coming full circle and getting the build. And throughout these four years, granted we didn't come for a year, we've been able to build this car and travel with this car all over Japan. And it's been absolutely amazing with my best friends, with awesome cars. It was just such an amazing experience. And th this car actually stemmed from Midori Sebi. I want you guys to be a part of this build too. I want you guys to be a part of this GTR legacy as well. And in order for me to do that, I created this. This is the limited edition R34 GTR legacy shirt. And this shirt means, it's not just legends. This shirt means so much to me because this is the story of my favorite car in the entire world. The car that I am most passionate about. And I call this the legacy shirt because this right here has the story behind the GTR. I wanna read it to you guys really quickly. It says, this 1999 R34 GTR was bought in 2019 with the intentions of keeping it in Japan while documenting the bill. Throughout our time in Japan, we've traveled to numerous iconic locations, running the toga in each area. This was the passion build I've always dreamed of. The story and journey I carry with this car is unforgettable. From Hakone to Gumba, all the way to Kyoto, we have made the legendary memories that last a lifetime. The final step in our Japan build is the heart. Before coming home to America, the R34 GTR is getting the Dory Savi high spec RB26 twin turbo engine build. Through my passion and love for not only GTRs but Japanese culture, we've created my one of one R34 GTR. <laughs> If you guys want to be a part of this GTR legacy, you can buy this shirt on the Legend site right now for a very limited time, only throughout the weekend. And all the proceeds from the shirt go right back into building this R34 GTR here at Midori Sebi. All the proceeds and funds from this shirt, as well as this poster on the screen right here, all those proceeds go into building the engine for the R34 GTR and you guys can be a part of this GTR legacy along with me. And I just wanna say thank you guys for these four years and sticking with me and through this amazing journey. I know it seems like the end, but it's really just the beginning on how much more we have to do. Not only with this car, but what's coming in the future. So this shirt is live right now on the Legend site. It's gonna be the first link down in the description box below. This is the back. Passion is rare. True, true passion is very, very rare. And this car and, and this place for me is complete 100% true passion. We have the front of the shirt here. To top everything off, what we're gonna do with this specific t-shirt right here is we are gonna be giving this away to one of you guys. But what makes it so special is that me, Masa, and Uchinaga-san are all gonna sign this shirt. And the way that you guys can enter in to win this shirt, so you have to be a subscriber, like this video right now, you have to buy this shirt and we'll pick one of you randomly that buys this shirt and we'll throw this one framed, packaged nicely for you guys with all of our signatures on it. So if you want a chance at winning the signed shirt from Masa, Uchinaga-san and I, purchase the Legacy t-shirt and we're gonna randomly select one of you guys to win the prototype t-shirt that's signed by all three of us. Another 
Midori Sebi RB28 build here. Let's hop into it today and tell you guys exactly what we're doing. So as the title of this video, I don't, I'm not sure what it says yet, but we are actually dropping off my R34 GTR to Uchinaga-san to start the Midori Sebi high-spec RB26 build. The song go? A lot of you guys might not know Midori Sabi, and if you don't, they are a GTR pro shop out here in Tokyo. Like I keep saying, when I first visited them, I fell in love with this place. It's one that you may never heard of. It's very small, family owned, but they build some of the nicest, craziest GTRs you will ever see. The craftsmanship out of Midori Sebi is just, it's unmatched and that's what made me fall in love. Wow, look at the green, dude. Yes, it's full uh, Midori high spec rebuild engine. Wow, I've never seen a 35 here. Wow. Oh my God, the brake calipers are off on soon. Uh, no, endless. Endless. Endless oh. monoblocks. So since we're here and we're gonna be dropping the car off, I wanna give you guys a little tour of Midori Sebi. I know we've been here a bunch of times, but I don't know if I've ever given you like a real proper tour. So obviously they actually do alignments in here and they do dyno tuning in here. And here's where they do most of their work to the cars. Oh, they have another 34 here, sick. So they're currently doing an engine build on this R32 GTR. Whoa. Wow. So is this a 26 build or 28 build? This is 26. This is 26. This is 26. Nice, nice, nice. So this is what we're going to be doing, and we'll explain it in just a bit on what goes into this, but all hand built by Uchinaga san, and this is. Uchinaga-san's son. Yeah, Uchinaga-san's son right here. So, like I said, it's it's so cool because it's it's a family-run GTR shop, you know? Really at-home built, and it's it's so cool to see the level of quality that comes out of this. And right here, if you guys watch our very first Midori Sebi episode, I'll leave it down in the description box below for you guys to check out. This is Uchinaga-san's personal R32 GTR. One of the nicest R32 GTRs I've ever had the pleasure of riding in. It is absolutely amazing. It has the Aragasa suspension like I have on my 34. And this one also, does Uchinaga-san's 32 have a 26 or 28 build? 26. 26 build, which is the same engine that I'll be getting. Dude, I drove this car around- I remember, the, yeah. Yeah, around the town. And he, well, he gave, let him give me the keys for this one. And I'm like, <laughs> This car, one of the best R32s that I've ever driven in my entire life. I'm so excited for my GTR. Now, what this means is I have to leave it here with Uchinaga-san. And unfortunately, I think until the car gets imported, this is going to be its home. This is where it's gonna live. And that also means that I won't be able to drive the GTR around Japan anymore, which is like a bittersweet feeling. I was talking a little bit about this last night. It feels like a breakup. That's You're not, not breaking up. I know, with. I know. It's it's not good. It's it's like a half goodbye, not goodbye, because like I'm gonna be able to come see it. It's here. like your girlfriend is going to like a different country. You're not gonna see her for like two or three months. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad, but I know it's gonna be worth it. And it's gonna be so cool. This is my dream. Masa, I'm literally building my one of one completely unique GTR to me. Like all the experiences that we've had, the dreams that I had, even before I owned this car, I dreamed of getting a GTR built here. And we're actually freaking doing yeah, it. Yeah, go watch 2019 video, guys. I'm gonna oh, link it down yeah. below. I'm gonna link it down below. He, he said in words. Whoa. Oh. Got V cam. So I'm guessing this is this. A, does Uchinaga san do single turbo build? Yes, he does. Okay. Um, he does whenever the customer wants like high power. Oh, okay. So this is basically a a, gar a very decent sized Garrett turbos here. Uchinaga san's recent build, he started to uh, relocate the crank angle sensor from the um, exhaust side camshaft to crank the actual itself. Crank, yeah. The cra actual crank itself. Wow. The story behind of this build. So this is a 2.8 stroker kit um, with uh, HKS uh, V cam, but this used to have a step two V cam, but now it has a step pro V cam system. And the thing is that, um, so what he done is basically he um, removed the crank angle sensor from the exhaust side crankshaft to the crank itself. Um, that means, which means there's, um, he can tune more precisely. And what he told me was like different build, but this type of build, like a high horsepower build that Midori done, when they changed the crank angle sensor, just crank angle sensor from this 
exhaust port to the uh, crank itself, the car made 40 more horsepower. Wow, that's nuts. Just because of removing that and they can tune it more precisely, more efficiently, then it made that amount of significant power. And because it now has a running V-cam system, in HKS, you can run the um, camshaft angle from the V-cam camshaft sensor, but now they can use it from the HKS's V-cam. It corresponds, that's why oh, it does it. corresponds and works together. Yeah. Wow. So that's so, why it's more flush and more simple. How much did it end up making? Um, they're just starting it right now. Oh, okay, okay. What he told is basically this setup makes more power than what the Midori done with the TAA turbos. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, TAA turbos are a little bit old school. Right. But still, it's a very more efficient, very more gradual. And because this uh, this owner will go to the track a lot, especially around, I think around like Fuji, he mm -hmm. said. So you want like if you you we both drove Fuji. Yeah. You need that response for sure. And so that's why I love Midori so much is that their knowledge of this and like the way they do these things oh. is just yes. Oh. The engine has already been off, so okay. there's no like. The oh, there's no engines being built currently. Yeah, currently. Okay, so this is something that we haven't toured in a very, very long time, but something that I think is extremely cool. This is the Midori Sebi engine builder. So he's oh. gonna tear this engine off. Oh, but yeah, it's an R34 GT engine. I think this will be really cool for the viewers here. Um, can you ask him how, like, what the process that he's gonna take mm -hmm. to build my engine? Can you show us, kind of like, a, talk a little bit about, like, how he's gonna build the engine and um, that, that process when we do uh, my car? あの、その、ま、ダスティンさん今回そのエンジンのオーバーホールを、はい。お願い、ミドリさんにお願いする形になると思うんですけど、その、ま、ちょっとま、プロセス的なのって、こう、ま、エンジンこう、ま、取って、
こうブーストかけた時のデトネーション異常燃焼起きないようにやっとくという普通はだからこっちです最近はうん、うん、もう全然この方が I forgot to mention this guys the, this another reason why this engine room is so awesome and so like I learned this the first time I came This room is also temperature controlled. So it stays at a certain temperature at all times mm -hmm. to help preserve the engines and the work that they do. Look at that hydrometer on the, as well. So that means they always care about the, the humidity yeah. inside this uh, room so that it will be as same condition as possible during an entire year. Yeah, so throughout every single build, they want the same conditions in the engine room as possible to keep it as consistent as possible. Which I think is awesome. This is another one of Uchinaga san's demo cars here. This one's really sick as well. This is the most special edition for Midori Sebi. It's a demo car. No way. Can we see it? We see it in the Oh. Wow. Oh, 2020. So this is a Midori demo car. Yeah. I've never seen this one here. It's brand spanking new. They bought from Nissan. Oh, very cool. So they're gonna turn this into a Midori. Oh, it's literally brand new. Plastics and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just got the car here and just drove it in here. And keep it. <laughs> wow, uh, are you, this is Midori's demo. Look how clean this interior is on the white 32. The seats are still black. That's crazy. Basically, this is kind of like a um, concept uh, version of what the Midori CV wants their customers to, the goal right. is. So what they've done is they basically they refreshed the whole entire interior. Also the engine bay is moving full refreshed. And dude, look at the body. I know, it's immaculate. Look, look at from the underneath. This is the no pronoun to rust area for 32. And it's like spankingly clean. Yeah, so also no, aside from just engine builds, Midori does like chassis refresh builds as well. So underside, suspension. Oh, um, it's been fully done. Yeah. New members, new bushings, everything. Yeah. They can do everything, which is really cool. But for me, we're just doing the engine build. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. We have a, uh, a Midori tradition here. We're gonna go get some katsu with Uchinaga-san. And I think we're gonna wrap everything up. I mean, it's time for us to drop the car off. There's not much else for us to do. <sighs> My heart. Hi. So what we're talking about is what underneath of the car is basically a 370 right. Which is basically the same. This is a little katsu spot right next to Midori Sebi that we come to every time. And it is amazing. Yeah. The lake hall, yeah. Just kind of going over our plans for the GTR, how we want the engine build, the boost, uh, what my plans are, and he's going to kind of gear the build towards what I want. So it's kind of cool, like having dinner with Uchinaga-san over Katsu talking about the engine build. Like, this is the experience I wanted for the car. It is so cool. Amazing lunch is always masa. Yep. Oh, something like a RV. Oh. That was good. We are gonna head back to Midori Sebi and wrap everything up. Okay, we have made it back to Midori Sebi and clutch is nice. Oh my God, the clutch. Uh, we've made it back to Midori Sebi and 
before we go over the rest of the information with my engine build, Uchi Nagasan wanted, wanted me to drive his R32 GTR, the one that I first rode in my very first time here, because this is basically the same exact engine build that we're gonna do in my R3 or my R34 GTR. So he wanted me to experience it and see if I liked it, because like I said, it's basically gonna be the same thing, right, Masa? Yes, sir. So RB26 twin turbo upgrade. Go ahead. Oh my god. Ooh, it's actually quick more responsive. Dude, it's way more responsive. Oh, I did not expect that, Masa. And he said that's like 400 horsepower. God. Push it. Oh my god, that's <laughs> a very good one. Uh -huh. That's a good shot. Go feel it. Oh yeah, that's a good bump. <laughs> Oh my god, Masa. Where am I going, left? Uh, go straight. Yeah, go straight. Oh my god, dude, this thing rips. Just tap it, tap a little, just tap it. See, look at, look at how they're- So responsive. The, the yeah. ribs. Good lord, dude. It's all yours, my friend. This thing is fucking sick, Masa. on the build, going adult through, stuff, a, a adult build stuff. list that's literally stressing me out and is gonna make my hair go gray. But it's gonna be in, it's gonna be amazing. Adult stuff, adult, adult stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically we're going through the entire build list of what Uchinaga-san is gonna be doing and building the car, how he's gonna build it, and like my, my goals and stuff, kind of like we did earlier. But now we're kind of finalizing things, signing paperwork, and making this like a, a real a real thing. Pretty insane, right, Masa? It is. <laughs> you guys have seen the uh, Midori Sebi office before, and one of my favorite things is Uchinaga-san's wife. She has a really cool toy car collection and GTR magazine collection. We found one from 20 years ago with Uchinaga-san actually in it. What's this article about, Masa? So it's all about R32 maintenance file. So it was back in published in 2004, so about 19 years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cool. That's why he looks young. <laughs> he still looks like that. Yeah, yeah. He does. <laughs> oh. oh, it's on the cover too. Yeah, that's his. That's his son. Wow. Which Nova son's son is doing the maintenance. God, dude, the history that's in these places is just so cool. It like never ends, guys. Good news. Okay, so wait. The plan is, I don't have to leave the car today because instead of building the engine that's currently in my car, we're getting a new block, a new upgraded, better block than the one that I have, and they're gonna build it on the side while I still have my car, so that next time I come, I can come drop the car off when the engine's actually ready, and then they can start tearing it apart so we don't have to like lose time on that, mm -hmm. which is gonna be awesome. So I, I thought today, we're this is the last time we're gonna be able to drive it. We still have a couple of, uh, couple of days to drive it then. And we do, yes. That's good news. Amazing, okay. Just what I did. Okay. So, because this build will be a special build, they want to represent Midori, so they will do the best effort they can to make the best engine that's come with it. And they will help you out with like the, the you know parts and stuff too. I am so excited for this. This is gonna be awesome. Unexpected, I thought we were leaving the car today, but it's actually pretty cool that we get to take the car while they build it on the side. So it's kind of like no downtime really, even though I'm leaving tomorrow. Uh, but we'll still have it a little bit when I come back in April, and then we'll drop it off to them, and the build should be done by the time it's ready to ship out to America. So we're on schedule, we got everything figured out, and today was a success. The engine build is going down. Okay, Uchinaga-san is gonna do the honors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Boom. Boom. This is the okay. coolest shirt ever. Okay, okay so I got the I didn't know that So this shirt is signed by the GTR legend Uchinaga-san, 
Masa, and myself, and we're gonna be giving this to you guys. That's Uchinaga-san's sign. That's my <laughs> sign right here. That's in my kanji. That's Dustin with his Japanese and Dutch sign. Yes, so this is really, really special. I mean, even to me, I kinda wanna keep this shirt, but you guys can get it. Make sure you're subscribed, you like the video, and buy the shirt to get entered in to win. Even though I'm leaving, I have work to do on my end when I get back to America to send parts to Uchinaga-san. So there's a lot of moving parts here, but it's gonna be a very cool build. So, Uchinaga-san, I got so good Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, Mata. Bye bye. Mata ne, Okay, bye bye. I got to go Zion Moss. So, slightly anticlimactic because I thought we were definitely leaving the R34 GTR at Midori Savi, but since we decided to do a whole new block, an upgraded block, he says we don't need to leave it because they're just going to build the block on the side and then swap the engine over whenever it's finished. So, like I said it, like I said earlier, I'm coming back in April for a special trip, which you guys will learn about later on. But during that trip, I can drop off the car and then they can start swapping over the engine and doing the tuning and all of that. And Uchinaga-san did say that he'll take pictures and videos of them building the engine for me so I could show you guys that, which is very, very exciting. But this entire trip, I was 100% expecting to not be able to drive the R34 GTR in Japan anymore. <laughs> and now that I do, it's great. But I mean, I'm leaving anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But very exciting that we are officially doing it after five years. What I've worked so hard for. And you know, the whole reasoning behind me doing the GTR build in Japan, especially way like four years ago when I bought the car, when I had no idea about the price increase about these cars, the whole reason I wanted to do it is to give you guys the experience of what it's really like to build your car in Japan, what it's really like to be a car guy in Japan. We've all seen Initial D, we all hear the stories, we all see the cool cars, but I wanted to give you guys a first-hand look into what it's like to actually do this, to run Toge, to get your car built at a reputable shop like Midori Stabi, what it's really like. I hope I've done a good job for you guys. I guess it's not the end of what we're doing here. It's like, it's just the start, getting to show you guys now. Now we get to really show you the full build and what a car is really like after it's done being built at Midori Sebi. Uchinaga-san said he's gonna do a very, very good job on this engine and put some special parts that he doesn't normally put on, on other cars. So I'm very excited about that. I'm very fortunate and I hope you guys are stoked on the build too, because it's gonna be really cool. And I'm gonna do my absolute best to document and film as much as I can. Hopefully he can get a good amount of pictures and I can try and get Masa out to the shop to film some stuff since I can't be here 24 seven. Because I do want to give you guys as much in-depth detail into the build and the, and the process as possible um, but yeah I'm just I'm very very excited for what's to come so it's pretty late in the day now it took all day going over the engine build and you know what's gonna get done and all that good stuff so right now we're heading to Shogun shop which is where all the guys get their cars washed because our cars are filthy from tracking and there was uh, there was salt in the road from yesterday when we were at Fuji so we gotta get all of that washed off and tonight we're actually gonna go for one last night run before I head to America because I do leave and go home tomorrow Bittersweet, because I miss Tiana and I miss Sparko, but also I freaking love Japan. I just wish they could come with me every single time. Anyways, I'll see you guys when we get to Shogun.